Hey everyone, it's Apostle Michelle Peterson and in this video I'm going to share with you guys about um, eating organic. Uh, this is actually something that the Lord had uh, desires for me to do and so I've been doing it so I'll share that with you guys in this video. Hey, bless you guys. In my last video, I was doing a very quick teaching about fasting and what the Lord actually showed me about fasting and um, how, how what actually happens when we fast and what's so important um, about cleansing our body out. And so today I'm just going to share with you guys about uh, the Lord actually uh, wanted me to start eating organic. And I'll share just the situation that had happened. I was struggling with... Um, I don't know if you guys ever heard of celiac disease or, you know, when you're gluten intolerant, you try to eat some bread or some pasta and your body starts having a reaction to the gluten. And that's why you see all over the stores, there's, you know, everyone, um, a lot of people are having to uh, go on this gluten-free diet. They can't eat gluten or their body has a reaction to it. Mine was so bad that I, if I even ate like a little piece of bread, little tiny piece of bread, I would have to go to the emergency room. I mean, my body would go into a shock, a panic. And so, but the Lord actually healed me from that. It was actually demonic spirits that was attacking my body. And so the Lord actually healed me from that. And so um, after that, I had an issue. I remember I was eating some cereal one day. And I love cereal. I can eat cereal. 24 hours a day. <laughs> I love cereal. And so one day I was eating some cereal and then all of a sudden I felt like really, really sharp pains like in my side. I don't know if that was my kidneys or, you know, I probably have to check and see what it was. Um, but it was like a sharp, hardcore pain. I was like, oh man, Lord, what is that? And I heard the Lord say, it's the chemicals in the cereal. I was like, chemicals in the cereal? <laughs> Why is there chemicals in the cereal? But when I looked at the box, it's all types of stuff that they put, you know, stuff you can't even pronounce in our foods. And so um, the Lord guided me to start eating organic. I heard him say he wanted me to eat organic um, because it was affecting my body. My body was um, having serious issues and um, reactions to these chemicals that they put in our foods. And so... I started eating organic and the Lord wanted me to completely change my diet to organic. And so I go to the store. I only get the things that have the organic seal. If it just says organic or if it just says it's natural, no antibiotics, no, no hormones. If it just says that on the pack, I don't get that. Um, I get the organic because the Lord told me, you know, get the, uh, the organic seal. So I've been eating organic and the thing about this, which God is so cool, I'm telling you, um, there, the scripture, um, there's a scripture that talks about the kingdom of God is not meat and drink and, you know, all of that. Um, and so what the Lord has told me, like if I'm fellowshipping with Christians or if I'm fellowshipping or, you know, with my family or whatever, I can eat whatever is laid before me, whatever they lay before me. I can eat it. It doesn't have to be organic because the Lord is more focused on fellowshipping and loving people and, and, and celebrating, you know, it's, it's no bondage that I have to go in there and say, Oh no, I can't eat your food. It has chemicals in it. You know, I don't have to go with that type of attitude. I can just focus on the people and focus on loving the people and being a part, you know, fellowshipping, uh, with the people. That's what it's about to God. He doesn't care about all those rules and all of those things. It's about, uh, loving people and fellowshipping and um, relationships. So the Lord did tell me whenever I go anywhere fellowship, I can eat whatever is before me and it is fine. So, but whenever I am in my natural environment, I'm, you know, uh, cooking and, and buying stuff for me is a hundred percent organic. And so what this does, this actually keeps my body a lot more clean, cleaner. And um, because I still, I still, I buy organic stuff. I make cookies. I make cake. I make fried chicken. I make everything that I would eat if I wasn't eating organic. So, I mean, it's not that I can't eat 
all the great stuff. I can still eat it, but the ingredients that I cook everything with is organic ingredients. And I'll just tell you this, organic ingredients, I mean, organic food, period. It's just the food our grandparents and our great parents, great grandparents, the same type of stuff they used to cook. You know, they had a garden, you know, back in the days they didn't mass produce cows and chicken and all of that and pump them up, you know, with steroids and do all of this stuff to, to them so that they can, you know, make all this money. They didn't do that. They had farms that actually, you know, they have farms now that raise the stuff and you can get it from local farms. But they had, they got their stuff from farms. They grew it in their garden if they had it. But everything didn't have chemicals in it. That stuff was organic back then. So it's nothing weird. I know a lot of people, when I say organic, they think it's something weird about it. And I'm like, no, this is the way it's supposed to be. Our foods are not supposed to be uh, pumped up. Like, you know, what's that thing? Um, what's, I remember, miracle Grow. <laughs> you guys remember when miracle Grow just came out? They had it on the commercials. And you had this little, tiny, little tomato. And then you had this big, huge tomato right beside it. That big, huge tomato was grown with miracle Grow. This little tiny tomato, that was just a plain tomato that's grown naturally. This is a natural organic tomato. It may not be that big. It may not be able to feed a whole house of people, but it's natural. It's no chemicals in it. It's no steroids in it. That's the way things were made. You know, originally that's the way it's supposed to be made. No chemicals. But so I noticed uh, my body is different since I've been eating organic. And also when I'm fellowshipping or if I eat something that's not organic I can smell the chemicals in the food now the smell is totally different the organic stuff doesn't have a chemical smell it's just cleaner I mean when you taste it it tastes better than you know the other stuff the stuff with the chemicals in it it tastes so much better and cleaner and so but the Lord actually gave me that specific diet and I just wanted to share it with you guys because if you're having sickness in your body, um, you know, if your body is just, you know, you've had a pretty healthy body and now all of a sudden you're starting to have some problems, you know, with it in your digestive system maybe, in your blood or, you know, something like that, try praying to the Lord and see if He guides you to go organic. Because you can, you can find recipes like, I mean, I cook from scratch now. Um, I don't, I never cook from scratch. I used to eat out all the time to like go to restaurants every day and now I cook everything from scratch. So I'm on YouTube trying to find out how to make a, a pie, how to make an apple pie, you know, how to make apple crumble or how to make, you know, just whatever I want to eat. You know, I go on there and even like one day I saw like these recipes. I don't know if you guys have an outback where you are. Outback Steakhouse and they have the blooming onions that's like deep fried and grease and so I found a recipe that's kind of like that but it's like little fried little onions and I made that you know I mean so with the fried onions I mean it has grease in it it's not the healthiest thing in the world you know to eat but you know you can still enjoy foods that you like you may not want to eat those type of greasy foods all the time but you can still enjoy it and I promise you you guys uh, ever since I have been organic, like when I eat organic for a long, 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 long time and I'm not fellowshipping with Christians or eating out with them, uh, basically I don't gain any weight. I don't gain any weight. It's like there's no, no hormones in my food, so I don't gain any weight. The only time I can see if I gain weight, if I'm going out a lot with uh, you know, uh, a friend or something like that and I'm eating at a restaurant, that's when I can see pounds come on me really fast. I may gain like a few pounds a week. If I go out and eat a few times a week um, at a restaurant, I may gain a few pounds. The pounds come on fast. I notice that. But with organic, I don't gain any weight. Even if I'm eating pies and cakes and stuff, I don't gain any weight if it's organic. So, but I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, you know, and also the Lord was telling me about different meats, different meats um, that it's easier for your body to digest. That helps you when it comes to keeping your body healthy and not putting too much strain on your body. And also there's different fruits and vegetables that have more nutrition, more vitamins and stuff in it. Like oranges, 
anything that's orange inside is good carrots uh, you know stuff like that anything that's like a dark dark green is good and anything that's yellow like lemons they're good too um, orange inside yellow inside green uh, dark green the darker the darker the better those type of things are good for you to eat fresh and don't cook it because when you cook it you destroy everything that's alive in it uh, everything that's good for you you, you kill it basically um, so the, those type of things the Lord has actually um, shared with me about my diet and I'm trying to apply them as much as possible I need to eat more uh, fresh stuff so I want to start doing that more often often um, but I'm just sharing this with you guys this is my life this is uh, what the Lord has guided me to apply and um, he's also told me why um, you know this is a great lifestyle to apply so if you guys want to start adding some organic things to your life try it out and also seek the Lord see what he has to say see if you guys are in that area all right so I hope you guys enjoy this video and I think this may be my last video for today and so um, but I will see you guys in the next video. God bless.